purpose of this video was to document the history of Morehouse Instrument Company to make sure we capture it through several generations. We're a hundred year old company and hope you enjoy the video. Morehouse Instrument Company was started by Mr. William Morehouse around 1920. It was a machine shop. Well, the legacy of excellence goes back to my grandfather. He was a machinist, and he was the go-to guy in York. If nobody else could figure it out, Harry could. From there, uh, basically manufacturing was week-to-week -week paychecks, just getting jobs around town, knowing that my grandfather, Harry Zumbrun, was a guy that could find solutions to problems, help them secure some, some local business back then. And then in 1925, they were approached by the uh, National Bureau of Standards, which is now NIST, with the idea to develop this proving ring. And the reason that idea came about is because boilers were blowing up all over the world. And there wasn't a really great method to calibrate the machines that were calibrating the material. Prototypes were made, sent down to the National Bureau of Standards. They did the calibration, they came back, back and forth. Uh, by 1926, we had effectively the greatest force measuring instrument in the world. And on my great-grandfather's deathbed, my grandfather always told me the story that he got an order for eight proving rings, and my great-grandfather said, just because I'm dying, you don't need to lie to me. And he actually had the order for the rings. The space race is what put us on the map. Measure the thruster rocket engines, and it means of calibrating those machines and improving was the instrument of choice. And then around, like around that time, around the 70s, it, it started becoming a bigger success with the calibrating machines. We are still machine shop uh, at that time as well, not just all calibration, there a lot of contract machining. My father wasn't ready to hand over the reins, so I went and did something else for a while. And he asked me to come into the company in 1984. And I jumped at it. But I saw a chance where I could make, really make a difference. When I actually came in uh, the first summer after college, uh, they had me polish proving rings. But eventually, I got out of school, came into the company, that is 99. You're very much stuck in the mundane, let's just keep whatever going, going. Well, we built several 120,000 pound dead weight machines to build, and no one was buying them. We hadn't built one. So we built one for ourselves to show we could do it. And that propelled us into a a creation for dead weights, 120,000 pounds that nobody else had. It gave us a leg up, and helped us maintain our leadership in the market. Yeah, culturally, it, I, th I think everything met metrologically and everything took off around 2000, uh, around that 2001 time frame with everything, and then we built the dead weight machine, and I was the first one that did a, a calibration in it, and it was cool, and just, just started loving um, just being in the lab, calibrating. And as I got more and more into metrology, I just loved it. The culture was very much small business minded, that it's, there's gonna be a president and an engineer and everything's gonna run president to engineer. Engineer's gonna control the back half of the building. President's gonna control the front half of the building. So the first thing when I came into the business, well, the first thing was a website. 
which generationally it's kind of funny generationally my grandfather said uh, he basically said you're wasting your time that won't go anywhere I became president in title but I actually became president in 2015 and in 2015 things changed pretty dramatically we're going to develop supervisors we're going to develop and train people we're going to have talent we're not going to run everything thing through one person now that's entirely different I mean the, the empowering people in the culture is everything I feel that Harrison and Rutter coming into the company and continuing the legacy. He said, if you make it through the third generation, you're going to make it for the long term. I think we're set up to make it for the long term. Uh, I always had an interest into coming into the family business. Um, though uh, I, I started out with um, some gardening on my first day. That changed to being more paperwork stuff, so sort of digitizing old files. Um, then I got into IT sort of the more IT web design sort of thing. On some weekends back when I was around eight years old, even before that, I'd come in with Henry. Uh, he would be doing cows in the lab, and I remember sometimes there would be bearings or something that would slip down and go into the pit, and I'd climb down the ladder and collect them, have a good time, and then just explore, check out the machines. But I think metrology is incredibly important, and I'm glad to be a part of this field and do think it's crucial for all the sciences. The main thing that I have heard at my time at Morehouse and that I've seen and that uh, value that has really resonated with me is trying to make the world a safer place. That ideally was what made me more motivated to come into Morehouse. I remember when I graduated high school, I was a little bit unsure of what I wanted to do. I talked with my dad. I said, hey, I want to help people. And he said, at Morehouse, we really do help people because by having more accurate measurements, in part, you are making the world a safer place. So that's what resonated with me. But working with Harrison, I think that we both have our individual strengths and we can really utilize that to excel. I definitely see us growing. Um, but I don't want to lose that sort of family dynamic, which it, it's kind of hard when you see companies grow. So I'd want to try to keep that open door, uh, everyone's able to know each other uh, type culture. For me, what's the most important is carrying on that responsibility, making sure that measurements are accurate minimizing uncertainty and being as transparent as possible. I think the future for Morehouse is very bright. I see our R&D department making the next great product and continuing to make great products, maybe even several great products. I see people loving what they do. I see all of us facing challenges and learning together. That could be customer challenges, that could be marketplace challenges, it could be any challenge. All I know is if we have the right team, which we will, that our people will solve those problems and any challenge that comes at us. I see Morehouse is the name everyone says when they need a force or torque solution.